In November, Everton were docked 10 points. This is the biggest sporting sanction in Premier League history. It left Everton in a terrible place. 19th in the table, and the club were not happy. This was because they spent way too much money, and the Premier League allows a club's maximum loss of £105 million. The account showed that Everton suffered combined losses of £370 million. They breached financial fair play, and the club was referred to an independent commission in March. This was a huge blow, because last season Everton finished just two points above safety, and this point deduction had people thinking it was the end for Everton, and their chances of relegation were greatly increased. At the start of this season, Everton were extremely shaky, and the fans thought that they were in for another extremely horrible ride. The first win of the season came in the Premier League on the 7th of October against Bournemouth. Despite the season beginning on the 14th of August, things were not looking good. To have your first win come in October when the season begins in August is extremely shocking. And if this was my club, I'd be extremely worried for the team. Anyway, when the going gets tough, there is only one man to call. And that is Sean Dyche. Luckily, Everton have Sean. Once Sean Dyche heard the news of Everton being deducted points, he flipped the switch and turned into Prime Mourinho, beating Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest, Newcastle and Chelsea, all in the space of four weeks. I think it's fair to say that Sean Dyche is back, and we're all ready for this. As we all know, Sean Dyche is the king of survival, and if there's one man that can make Everton survive the biggest points deduction in Premier League history, it's Big Sean. Sean Dyche is squeezing every ounce out of these players, and Everton are nine wins from the last 13 games, three league wins in a row, and for the first time since 2021, three wins in a week, three away wins on the spin, and three clean sheets in a row. What an incredible time it is to be a Toffees fan. Sean Dyche is doing bits, and I don't know what he's cooking in the training ground, because these players are starting to play really well. I mean... Their performance against Chelsea was insane. Since Sean Dyche received this points deduction, Everton have suddenly turned into prime Brazil. Decore has turned into R9, Dwight McNeil into Ronaldinho, and Lewis Dobbin is now the reincarnation of prime Neymar. All because of Big Sean. Word on the street is that the Premier League only gave Everton a 10 points deduction, not to try and send them down, but to prevent them from winning the title because this is the only way up for the Toffees now. With these last two incredible results, only one can dream of what Everton are going to achieve this season. They're geared up and ready for a great season. Nothing can stop Big Sean. In fact, Everton have picked up more points in the last week and a half than Burnley have all season. I bet those Burnley fans wish they had Sean Dyche now, because I don't know what Vincent Company's doing at Burnley. They're absolutely terrible. Let's see what he can do in this Premier League season. And who's to say that the European title charge isn't on? Let's get ready for an insane season and see what Sean Dyche is officially cooking. I think it'll be great to have Everton back in the mix because they're such a historical and great club and the fans are amazing. When Sean Dyche gets his team playing well, they really do know how to play football. He's such a breath of fresh air in the Premier League because nowadays... Football is like an athletic game of chess. I can't remember the last time I saw a Jack Grealish compilation of amazing skills because football is turning boring. And with people like Sean Dyche in the game, making it more interesting, seeing an insane relegation battle, it's so much more entertaining to watch. Sean Dyche is a Premier League legend and I cannot wait to see what he does for the rest of his managerial career because he is such a gem in football. Thanks for watching this new video, and I'll see you next week for another thrilling analysis of Premier League action. But for now, I'm done. See ya.